Aron 3 and who boy howdy am I a moron. In the last episode, I thought it was the last episode because I had thought we'd been blocked off from going anywhere and doing anything else in the Kanto region. And in this episode, we are going to be continuing with our adventure in the Kanto region because I've demoronified myself in that I know how we can continue and defeat some more of the gym leaders and continue with the rest of Kanto. Now I don't know which person we need to talk to, but we have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Yes, I somehow managed to make it the whole game with no radio. Slide it into the poker gear and to play the radio anytime, anywhere. And yes, I would like to try the quiz. Is Mateo the creator of this rum hack? He is indeed. Has Zigzagoon from Hoenn? Yes. Bullseye! Are Glaceon native to the Kanto region? No, isn't it Sinnoh? Right, was Pokemon Red released in the US in 1998? I haven't a clue, so I'm just gonna go with yes. Nice. The final question, Flannery is a very popular gym leader these days. Is her gym found in Goldenrod City? No. It's in Lava Ridge Town, isn't it? Here's your prize, a radio card. Fantastic. And that's exactly what I, want. I were wanting, I was wanting. Because now I've demoronified myself, we can fly back to New Bark Town. And once we're here, if we go back to Kanto... Really, Tentacle, all I want to do is go to another country and you'll want to stop me? Right. Now I've completely forgotten where I'm going. Vermilion City, that's the one. Right. So let's... Well, I was going to say spring our way off to Vermilion City, but it's flying. Right. Now that... Now that we have the... I nearly said the map. I was meaning the radio. Now, to tune it to try and find the poker flute station. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It's not tuning into anything, though. Um... Hello? Oh, there we go. Places and people. Let's all sing. Poker flute, there we go. The poker gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. Oh no! Yes, and that is indeed how you get that to do that thing. Because I'm apparently a moron! Yay! Right, um... Uh, I don't, I don't want to bother. I have no need for a level 50 Snorlax, my team is already full. Now, we could go over this way, but this way is literally just more Pokemon battles and it has no story relevance. I mean, you can go up to Lavender Town or down to Fuchsia City, I believe, but we've already been to both of those places, so there's, there's no need just to go back for a few battles. But now we're finally in the Diglett's Cave that we couldn't get into before. And since I've got Repel, I don't know why I'm not just biking. A cave-in opened a new tunnel here. That was shocking. Ooh, a new tunnel! Um, is it gonna go anywhere? It's... Um, going to go into a basement somewhere? Round and round! What comes around goes around. Or the other way around, I don't know. Okay then, Noland. Whatever you say. Oh. I was going to say, we're not very well prepared, but since they're only level 31, I'm, sh I'm sure we're going to be alright. Critical hit, that's fine. Donna, experience. Incomplete sentences, y'all. Right, let's switch to... Comet, why not? Use a bit of the old ice against that off-coloured rock. Poor Golem. He looks ill. Right. Did you know, as a fun fact, that illness was invented in 1942 by a group of monks at, monas at a monastery who wanted to be rich and famous? Okay, apparently TM28 works too. 
I have no idea what that means or what TM28 is. Um, I don't know. I don't have it. Uh, is it something to do with spinning? I don't know. Oh well. But yeah. Okay then. That cave. That cave in has. Oh uh, wait, I get it. It's caved into somewhere. It hasn't opened a new cave. Okay, that that makes more sense, but I don't understand why there's a set of stairs. Well, you know what? Now isn't the time for logic. Okay. Just thinking, that was a quite shady music there. Right, um... Is this the house that gives you a free nugget? I'll give you a little present. Yes, it is the nugget. Right, okay. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that will have to do. Right, so we are... Oh, Repel's effect wore off, that's fine. Is this the place by Pewter City? I think it is. Oh. Apparently we're not getting in yet. If you walk in tall grass wearing shorts, do you get nicks and cuts? Well, I mean, I guess it depends how sharp and stiff the grass is. I don't know. I don't personally walk in grass it's too long because for some reason I always think it feels really gross. Because I'm just that nature avoidant. Avoidant isn't even a word, is it? I don't like nature is what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I don't mind it, I just don't like being in it. That's what I was trying to get at. Right. On the topic of nature, let's destroy these bees with our wings because... Apparently that's a thing, even though I like bees. Bees are fine, wasps aren't. They're the worst thing. Well, I guess the... I'm sure there's literally worse things for the world that's happened to the world than wasps. But what are wasps good for other than terrifying children and just getting in the way? Right, and level 52, we've defeated Bug Catcher Ed. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Aren't you out... What? Oh, okay, I guess he'd already got nicks and cuts. I was just thinking, why is he saying ouch if he's out of the grass? If he's ouch of the grass? <laughs> oh, dear. You know, I'd apologise, but that was a classic joke. Hi, I'm looking for the Pokemon. If you have Gloom, would you trade it for my Rapidash? Yeah, I don't have one either. Now, I think the only... The only honest thing that's going honest thing? The only real thing that's going on in Kanto is it's you collect all eight of the gym badges, then you go to Professor Oak and he will give you access to do something. So I figure once we defeat the remaining three gyms I think it is, yeah, it's Brock, Blaine and whoever the gym leader in the Viridian City gym's gonna be. And then we'll go see Professor Oak. Right, Camper Jerry sent out Sandslash. Again, I can't remember. I think Ground is weak to Ice at this point. But I'm convinced in the later generations they changed that. I mean, they might not have done it. might just be me being dumb. But that's honestly just what I remember. But, defeated Camper Jerry, I have to win these battles. Well, Jerry, it's a bit late for that now. Sorry, kiddo. Wow, it's not often we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Pewter City Gym Leader. I'm an expert on rock-type Pokémon. My Pokémon are, are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have to have you'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. I mean, did you not just see me use Ice Beam on that Sand Slash? He has six Pokemon, not six, five Pokemon, really? Uh, fine, Cupid, let's just freeze all of his Pokemon. And by freeze, I mean hopefully one hit KO of them all with Ice Beam. Hooray! Right. Like my ideal dates, it's cold and KO'd. Right, Omastar. Uh, you know what? Comet, you can come in for one of this. One of these. Now, did I teach Giga Drain to comment in the last episode? I cannot remember. Oh, good, I did. 
Oh, pretty. You are the worst kind of trainer, Brock. It's like in the third generation games and like the Hoenn ones, how whenever you'd battle against a Pelipper, the first thing it would always do was protect. Even if it was just a wild Pelipper, they'd always use protect. Oh dear. Right. Elmastar down. Now next up is Rhyhorn. Eh, you know what, Comet can stay in. Cause I mean, if Blaine, we're gonna battle Blaine in the next episode, probably. He has a team of fire types, Comet's not gonna be much use there, so... We may as well just battle with Comet for the rest of this. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to think about the last gym leaders. <laughs> because they're so dreamy. Right, Kabutops, yep, that's fine. More Razor Leaf. <laughs> More Sharp Leaves. What? Wait, was that Bugcatcher Ed who we battled just a few moments ago? Since he was getting nicks, could have a Pokemon be could a Pokemon have been using Razor Leaf on him, maybe? I mean, you never know these things. It could have happened. And last is Onyx. You know what? We're gonna go out in style for this last gym, but this gym Pokemon battle. Words. The difficult leave me alone. Oh, let's. Right, I was going to say a sentence, but it would have sound sounded horrifically bad. What I was going to say was let's submerge his rock snake in water. Just gonna take a moment to let that one sink in. Oh dear. Your Pokemon's powerful at attacks overcame my rock hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. And we received the sixth badge, even though it's technically the first, the Boulder Badge. Battling you even though I am a bit upset. That Boulder Badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Okay, bye! So, has Erica been the only one to actually give us a TM for defeating her? Because I don't think anybody else gave us anything for beating them. I wonder if there's anything in the museum. Um, who are these people? Hi, I'm looking for the Pokemon. If you have Pikachu, would you trade me from- Oh, cool. Gee, that's ri If we have a Pikachu, we can get a Mudkip? Um, okay. I swear I've seen a Kabutops in the flesh somewhere. Could it maybe have been in Brock's gym because he has a Kabutops? Right, so you know what? I think, uh, you know, I'm not gonna. I was gonna say, next episode we'll take a wander through Viridian Forest. But you know what, I don't think I'll do it next episode. I don't recall Viridian Forest being that big. It's more of just like an, oh, this is, this isn't Viridian Forest. What happened to Viridian Forest? Um, okay. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take this. Ooh, another item, yay. Oh, oh, Joey, not now. Good morning, it's me. How are you doing? Want to battle? It's not going to be a repeat of last time we met. I'll be around Route 30. See you later. Click. Bye. Okay, then. Oh. So, Viridian Forest doesn't exist. Um. Alright. Uh, Metapod. An elixir. Okay, then I guess Viridian Forest doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, it's the coffee guy. Hey, kid, I just had a double shot of espresso and I am wired. I need to talk to someone, so y'all have to do. I might not look like it much now, but I was an expert at catching Pokemon. Do you believe me? Yes. Good, good. I was something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. Okay, then. Good for you. And uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it here for this episode. So thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And next time we will be heading off and taking care of the final two gyms. See you then.